All right, so you're making that holiday menu, and you cannot mm -hmm. forget about dessert. Apple pie is a traditional Thanksgiving favorite, but this dessert coming to us from the Williamsburg Lodge is a delicious apple pie with a big twist. The apple tart de tan is a decadent dessert that is served upside down. So enjoy. Some people consider dessert to be the best part of the meal and take a look at that. We're going to learn how to make this dish. We're here at the Williamsburg Lodge in Colonial Williamsburg. Jen Cabillos, one of the pastry chefs here, going to show us how to make this. It's a real secret recipe, mm -hmm. isn't it? This is a, a great fall dish. It's a tart to tan, and it's one of Chef Lewis's recipes that he has from a friend of his in Paris, and they, it comes from a uh, Escoffier. How do we start? Okay, um, well, you want to make your pate brise first, which is almost like a biscuit dough. Okay. Um, so with your flour. Okay. How much is that? This is about a cup of flour, and then just, you know, a little pinch of salt. And you take your butter. It's about three ounces of butter. And just kind of like making biscuits, you want to rub that in by hand, and you're going to do that. Kind of creating that. it with your fingers. Yeah. Um, you want you want to make the butter into probably about pea-sized chunks. The beaten egg. Yes. Okay. And just pour that on top, and you're going to mix it lightly. You don't want to overmix it because then it's going to turn tough and rubbery. We're just going to dust the table with the flour. Oh, you're just trying to form a dough. Exactly. It's going to be the bottom of the dish. You want to let this rest in the refrigerator so that it'll roll out nicely while you're cooking your apples. So you want to do this first. And then you're going to wrap it and set it to the side. These are uh, gala apples that, of course, we got from Orchard in Virginia. You're just going to peel the outside. You're just going to cut it in half, straight down the middle. Uh, this is a melon baller. You can use a core or anything like that. You're just going to pop the core out. Then you're going to cut about a quarter inch off each side, just that way you have a, a flat side to stand your apple on. And then you're going to cut it in half, so they're going to be about one inch tall, just like that. And this is the side, you want the cup side to be up. That way when you flip it over, it'll have a nice flat side on the top. So you want about 11 inch uh, deep dish pan. And you're just gonna take your butter. This is about uh, six ounces of butter. And you want that to melt in your dish. And this is two cups of sugar right here. And you're just gonna sprinkle it on top. And you're gonna let that caramelize just a little bit. You just want the whole thing to start boiling. Um, you're going to have a little bit of lemon juice. This is just going to keep your sugar from uh, crystallizing. And then uh, that you're good. ready to layer your apples in there. You want to be very careful because this is very hot and you don't want to get it on your fingers. Um, you're going to start with the outside and layer your apples down. And you want to get them as tight together as possible. As it cooks, the juices are going to come out and the apples are going to shrink. So you're going to want a couple extra apples just so that you can um, squeeze them in there. So that way they're nice and tight together. And you're going to go around the outside of the pan, and then you're going to do the inside. And you're just going to want this to cook on medium heat um, until your caramel is probably about a you know cinnamon color to light a golden brown. And um, it's probably going to take about half an hour. So when you're done, it'll look about like this. Neat. Nice and caramelized. Your apple's all soft and brown. You just want to keep this as round as possible. That way you'll just be able to pop it into the bottom. So you just want to 11 out uh, 11 inch circle because that's the size of your pan. You want it to fit right in there. You're going to take this, place it on top. You want to be very careful not to get that sugar on your fingers again. You just push your dough in there, fold the edges back over and press them tightly to the side of the pan. We're going to take this and put it in a 350 degree oven just till this crust is golden brown. So it's probably going to be about 10 to 15 minutes. You're going to let it cool for just a little bit put a nice board on the bottom, and then you're just gonna flip it out. This is apple tart to tan. Oh, I wanted to see her flip it. Oh, yeah. Was it hard? No, you know, she, she didn't do it on camera for me, but it didn't seem very hard. Did she let you even see? I'll or did you say, you. I'll be right back. <laughs> let me do with that. Go all the way. And then it just came with the finished Perfect. product. You know, these I, making desserts to me seems very difficult. That one looks like it would be difficult. But it, but it, it didn't. I've watched it a couple times. I was there, and I edited the piece. So, I mean, I've watched it several times, and I really think that I could make that. I want to see how she got it out of the pan. <laughs> she's, she said, a, "Use a board." Mm -hmm. I guess that's something. Like a pretty can... board on the on the top, and then you flip it over, over and together. it'll just you know, like a jello mold. You know, yeah. On the other yeah. side. Yeah.
Check out the entire recipe. And you can see this video again online at fox43tv.com. Also, we've got all the uh, online there. We've got all the interviews we had, we've had with our past chefs.